it's really important, and again, this is something most people don't realise, to get your financial claims dismissed. So you need another document, if you agree things, that goes before the court, that the court will approve and make into an order. Because there's recently been a case in the press from the UK where a wife came back years and years and years afterwards mm. and got a settlement from her husband, who was now a millionaire, but when they separated was more or less penniless. So they, they separated but didn't get divorced? Is that, is that, is that, no? no, they got divorced. Oh, wow. But it's not enough just to get divorced. You have to what's called dismiss your financial claims against each other. You're looking at a very worried man. <laughs> so if you keep them open for whatever reason, mm -hmm. then potentially that sort of thing can happen. Obviously, it was an extreme case, but bizarrely, from memory, she got 300000 but mm. all of that more or less went on her legal costs. Oh, uh, wow. So she got nothing at the end of so the day. So she got nothing, but of course he was 300,000 pounds less worth well off. off and had his own legal fees because it went to a fairly high level in the court system mm. in, in England.